Every internet speed explained by Nova bits per second or BPS is the smallest, most basic unit for measuring how fast data moves. A bit is just a zero or a one, the tiniest building block of digital information. So when we say one BPS, we literally mean one single bit is traveling every second. Yeah, painfully slow. To give that meaning, sending just one character, like the letter A, which is eight bits, would take eight whole seconds at one bit per second. Thankfully, nothing today runs at that speed, but BPS is the foundation for everything that comes after. Kilobits, megabits, gigabits, and way beyond. Whenever you see internet speed, remember, you're really seeing how many bits per second your connection can push through. Kilobits per second, KBPS. One kilobit is 1,000 bits per second. This was the first real measurement used in early mobile and dial-up days. During 1G and 2G, almost everything ran in kilobits per second. For example, 2G Edge topped out at about 384 kilobits per second, which is only around 48 kilobytes per second once you divide by 8. At those speeds, loading a web page or sending a picture took noticeably long. Still, it was just enough for emails, texting, and downloading small files. KBPS is basically extinct today, but it's the reason many of us first saw images loading on a tiny phone screen, one blurry line at a time. Megabits per second, MBPS. One megabit per second is 1,000 kilobits or 1 million bits per second. This is the unit almost everyone knows because modern home Wi-Fi and mobile data are measured in megabits per second. When 3G launched, speeds jumped from a few hundred kilobits per second into the 1 to 10 megabits per second range, making real internet browsing, social media, and video streaming possible. Then came 4G and LTE. Now tens, or even hundreds, of megabits per second became normal. But here's one thing almost everyone gets confused about. Your internet provider advertises in megabits, but your phone or computer downloads in megabytes. And one byte equals eight bits. So a 100 megabits per second plan becomes around 12.5 megabytes per second in real downloads. That's why your browser might show 12 megabytes per second, even though you pay for 100 megs. It's not slower, it's just a different unit. Gigabits per second, GBPS. A gigabit is 1,000 megabits or 1 billion bits every second. This is the world of fiber internet, high-end 5G cloud computing, data centers, pro-level gaming and streaming. If one megabit per second is a bicycle, one gigabit per second is a bullet train. A full HD movie, just a few seconds. A huge game update, gone before you blink. Real-world 5G can reach anywhere from 1 to 10 gigabits per second, enabling crazy things like real-time cloud gaming and 8K video. And if you ever get 1 gigabit per second at home, remember, your real-world download speed is around 125 megabytes per second. A 10 gigabyte file? Less than a minute. Compare that to a decade ago when we waited half the night for a movie to download. Terabits per second, TBPS. A terabit is 1,000 gigabits or 1 trillion bits per second. This is so fast that it leaves home internet behind completely. TBPS is the speed of internet backbones, undersea cables, big tech infrastructure, inter-data center transfers. Google, Netflix, and Meta move data internally at these levels so millions of people can stream simultaneously without everything melting down. One terabit per second connection can transfer 125 gigabytes per second. That's your entire 4K movie collection in a moment. In 2022, researchers even hit 1.88 petabits per second. That's 1,800 terabits, fast enough to stream the entire YouTube library at once. Petabits per second, PBPS. A petabit is 1,000 terabits or 1 quadrillion bits per second. This goes far beyond consumer use. Even global cloud systems rarely touch this level today. One petabyte per second link can move around 125 terabytes per second. Imagine transferring the entire Netflix library or all of YouTube's daily uploads in literally one second. Researchers in Japan achieved a world record 1.02 petabits per second transfer using advanced fiber optics, roughly 10 million times faster than your home Wi-Fi. At these speeds, distance becomes less important. 
What matters is keeping the data stable, synchronized, and error-free. Exhibits per second, eBPS. An exhibit is 1,000 petabits, or 1 quintillion bits per second. We are now in pure future territory. No human network or internet provider can reach this level yet. An eBPS connection equals roughly 125,000 terabytes per second. That's enough to transmit the entire contents of YouTube, every video ever uploaded, in just a few seconds. At this level, traditional fiber becomes a bottleneck, so researchers explore quantum data transfer, satellite laser links, optical teleportation, next-gen photonic networks. These speeds could one day power global AI systems, real-time planetary simulations, and even near-instant communication with Mars. Zettabits per second, ZBPS. One zettabit is 1,000 exabits or one sextillion bits every second. We've now gone beyond anything our world currently produces. Even the entire global internet, all traffic combined, only reaches a few hundred terabits per second today. One ZBPS is trillions of times faster than that. A single ZBPS connection could move 125 million terabytes per second. That's every piece of human data. Documents, videos, backups, code. Copied in less than a heartbeat. Yottabits per second. YB piece. A yottabit is 1,000 zettabits, or 1 septillion bits per second. This is the final boss of data transfer speeds. A level so high it's almost beyond human imagination. At 1 YBPS, you could literally download the entire internet in under one second. Nothing we've invented. Not fiber, not satellites, not even early quantum networks can handle this. This is theoretical sci-fi territory. To compare, your 5G peaks at 1 to 10 gigabits per second. A YBPS line would be trillions and trillions of times faster. At that scale, we're not transferring data anymore. We're transferring pure knowledge. Before we wrap up, there are two things people always confuse with internet speed. Latency and upload versus download. Speed shows how fast data transfers, but latency shows how long it takes for your device to respond. You can have gigabit internet, but if your latency is high, your games, calls, and cloud apps still feel laggy. Speed is like the car's top speed. Latency is the delay before the car starts moving. And then there's upload versus download. Download is everything you pull from the internet videos, apps, websites, which is why it's the big number on your plan. Upload is what you send out, files, photos, live streams. Most connections favor download, but fiber gives you both. Understanding these two things explains why your connection can feel fast on paper, but slow in real life. If you want to understand more of how our digital world functions, subscribe and comment what you want to see next.